Okay, now we finally get to create the VM. Here we go. Browse to the data store. Go to uh, uh, create a new folder and just call it files or something. Just to store the files makes it a bit more neater. Upload the two files that are linked in the description. Uh, only one of them will actually show up, but just upload both. There should be a VMDK file and a flat VMDK file. Just like so. Boom. Okay, now they're both uploaded. Even though it only shows one, they're both uploaded. Once that's done, close that out. Right click that, go to new virtual machine. Go to custom, select next, name it whatever the hell you want to name it. I'm a cool mine XP analogy. Next, 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 number eight. Select Linux Ubuntu 64 bit. Next, select the number of cores and physical processors. Dual core system, so I'm going to set it to dual core. I leave it at 1 gig of RAM, you can increase or decrease it however you want, just obviously keep in mind that too little might make it run slow. Leave that on E1000. Set that to VM Power Virtual. Now if you used RDM then click use an existing disk and select your RDM disk, otherwise create a new virtual disk. In this case I'm using RDM so I'm browsing to RDM folder and selecting my 2TB drive 1 VMDK. Next, leave that at SCSI 00, finish, and edit. Okay, now once there you just need to click add and go to hard drive, next, existing disk, next, browse, go to your data store then files. Select the file you uploaded, press next, set it to independent non-persistent, make sure it's set ID 00, finish, just check everything's right, which it is, yep, everything's good, and finish. Now right click, press power on, right click, and press open console. Select the second option, select the first option on the second bit. Assuming you want to install 4528. And then just let it boot. Once it gets to the disk station prompt, you're done with this video and you need to move on to the final bit. Now there's no more splitting between ESXi and non-ESXi installs and it's all back to linear tutorials. So click the picture now to go to the final part. Well, almost. <laughs> the installation part. Then we've got the updating part if you want to do that. So yeah, click the, video, click the image and I shall see you in the next video.